Before you um, can get a chance to go to a hairdresser and have a real sort of cut, someone that knows how to work the scissors, um, a simple thing that you can do at home is just cut some face framing layers in. It is really, really simple um, and it's effective. Now, I wouldn't go totally mad with exactly how you would want the face framing layers because I think that a professional should ideally do it. But if you're desperate and you want it done quickly, you can do it like this. So first things first is I will take my straighteners on a low heat and just straighten it out um, so that it's kind of the length it will be because I think if you try and do this curly like if you did it then straightened it after it would be really messed up so take yeah. some uh, scissors and these are literally just like whatever I had lying around um, make sure that you've not got any of your own hair around while you do this you can choose to do it on um, a mannequin hair just get it from about chin level and I just have it on an angle like this kind of like I'd say 45 degree angle and just with sort of like about an inch worth from the edge I'm going to take kind of that sort of section and just And just to show you kind of if I was to curl them under sort of Lindsay Lohan naughty style, you can just see. Just fun. my uni wigs melanie human hair topper she's a mono top now mono tops have a lot of benefits they are so cool they're quite flat and they're just really breathable um but one of the drawbacks of having a mono top is they don't have the most realistic part however women we are resourceful aren't we We've come up with a way, and I've seen this done a few times now, of how to make it look much more realistic. So this is it beforehand. So there's not much definition. There is a slight bit here where you can see sort of a skin color where the silicone strip is, but especially with the dark hair, you do kind of lose that natural realistic part amidst all the knots. So, all I'm going to do today is take a makeup brush here, which I think either some use for eyeliner, some would call it an eyebrow brush, um, and my um, ordinary daily uh, face powder. So this is a pressed powder, it's not a loose one. Um, I think that that might just go on a little bit better. I'll be able to kind of manipulate and control it a bit more. So I'm just gonna get a bit here like this, just gonna tap off the excess there. And I'm going to come very closely here and I'm just going to find it in the mirror and just apply it ever so gently. And I mean, oh my God, like, I've seen this done on videos before, and but I've obviously never done it in person. It actually works so well. 
and I'm like looking at the mirror here like so obviously I'm looking in my phone now but looking in the mirror as well it doesn't look like I've put makeup on the hair either Woo! so there you go ladies all you need is a makeup brush and a little bit of powder and you've got yourself a pretty little realistic part now I imagine as well if you turn this inside out and added a bit to the inside that would also help to conceal some of the knots look at that big thumbs up from me so yeah that's how i make it look a natural realistic parting showing you how I customise this every stage of the way um, and this is the final stage which is all in the final details of styling. So let's see how I took it from this to this. So for anyone who kind of isn't um, really great with hair and stuff who, who even finds sort of these little things challenging, um, curling with straighteners is a little bit of a faff but I actually love it now and I find tongs harder. Once you get the hang of it, it's amazing. So you just want to take the section of hair that you want to curl. I like to make sure that no sort of flyaways are in there because those are the little hairs that will get caught in the edge of the plate and that will snag. So I just get it, straighten it in like that, twist it round, grab that bit of hair at the back just so that's forward. I kind of hold and pinch and then just pull down twisting as you get to the end and then I let go just before the end because I want I don't want it to be really really curly right at the end so yeah that worked out pretty well it's, it's hard doing this in your phone props to the ladies that do these videos regularly <laughs> so yeah same technique twist it round kind of grab that hair so it stays in place in the middle of the plates and doesn't snag. Let go right before the end. And there we go. Uh, sometimes I like to start the curl at different points in the hair. So as you can see, I started this one higher up and this one lower down. And that just creates the all overall curl that you can see over here. And you've got some like higher, higher up bits. Just more body, uh, more dimension to it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and curl the rest. So now, leave it for a couple of minutes just to let the curls cool down. Once they've cooled, use a paddle brush or a wide tooth comb to just brush through those curls. Play around, find any sort of little straight bits that you want to just curl there. And there we have it. Done.